It is the 26th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Now let's go ahead and start off on SOT.net. Thailand large wave strands tourists. About a hundred people in southern Thailand were evacuated overnight when a large wave flooded a coastal village. Uh, the three to four meter high wave inundated a shore on the Gulf of Thailand, causing floods of one meter deep and damaging houses in the village, um, according to provincial governor. Dozens of tourists were stranded uh, with about a thousand people in total affected by the waves. Reports suggested about 200 house, households were hit, although there were no reports of casualties, but there was a lot of damages. That's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Extinction Protocol, the only story they really have worth covering is a wild Christmas weather. Freak hailstorm wreaks havoc in Victoria, Australia. Storms pelted Victorians with hailstones as big as billiard balls during a wild Christmas Day barrage. The damage bill could run into the tens of millions of dollars after hundreds of cars were bombarded. Windows in homes and businesses were smashed and roofing was torn away. The state emergency was called to more than 2,500 jobs when a series of storm cells intensified dramatically in Melbourne in the afternoon. Uh, the worst was a tornado that hit Fiskville near um, Bacchus Marsh west of Melbourne. Severe thunderstorm warnings were issued for many parts of Victoria throughout the afternoon and evening. But the weather is expected to improve ahead of today's Boxing Day test at the MCG. And the story goes on, of course. Multiple flare eruptions seen across the solar surface on December 25th began with a pair of magnetic filaments erupting in the sun's northern hemisphere, followed by a sequence of sea flares from sunspot 1385 in the sun's southern hemisphere. Both halves of the sun have, are rocking on Christmas. Cornograph images from stereo A and B suggest possible Earth-directed CME. A filament of magnesium connected to sunspot AR-1386 erupted during the early hours of December 24th. Extreme UV wavelength cameras on board Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the picture, picturesque blast, and of course they have a video attached with that. That's about all new they have tonight. Uh, over to the RSOE. Uh, got extreme weather reports coming out of Norway and Sweden. Uh, both have shut down their train services due to this extreme weather that's on its way. Um, I believe there's a few ships in Norway, cruise ships, that are stranded out in the harbor because uh, they got froze in from this bad weather. And that is about all new they have tonight. I got a story over off the BBC News. Winds of up to 101 mile an hour recorded in the Northern Isles. A forecast issued in Amber, be prepared, alert for Christmas Day, lasting until the night for Northern Scotland and the Northern Isles. Overall, Christmas Day in the UK has been the third mildest on record. A high of 14.3 centigrade, or 57.7 Fahrenheit, was recorded in County Down, the mildest Christmas Day on record for the Northern Island. And, uh, yeah, they're saying it's unseasonably mild there right now. Over to the nuclear stuff, I really don't have a lot going on with the ENE news. Gunderson thinks melted core will get through containment and hit water. Uh, they have an audio download on that, an interview he did. And uh, one story, could less radiation and food make public feel unsafe? And basically this is uh, a story arguing the point that is if we do put um, radioactive limitations on potable foodstuffs that, uh, that could create a panic and uh, could cause um, bad press for like iodized salt and that kind of thing. Um, so, careful what's going on with that. Uh, that's about all I have new for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or uh, attach your videos below. Um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.